hi everybody and welcome to the Dartmouth Wanderers and Coastline presents Coastline Healthy Cooking with me. And I am the registered dietitian from Coastline Elderly Services here in New Bedford. And today with me, I have Maria Lawton. Thank you for Maria. having me. Super excited to have yeah, you here. Me too. So if you could just introduce yourself a little bit, Maria. Um, I'm Maria Lawton, and I, um, I, I have this book called Azorian mm -hmm. Cooking. Um, and on Facebook, mm -hmm. you can find me as the Azorian Green Bean. Oh, and, um, and I'm all about recreating um, recipes that I grew up okay. with. Uh, that are my family recipes mm -hmm. from the island of St. Michael in the Azores. Oh. So today we've got a couple yes. of things we're going to be doing. Yes. So this is going to be lots of fun. Yep. So today we yes. are preparing for you. We have a fresh poached hake with a tomato and onion sauce. Yeah. And then a little bit later we're going to do uh, Portuguese popovers, which I'm going to say it wrong. So what is it? Cava it's called cavacas. Cavacas. So cavacas. We'll leave the Portuguese to <laughs> yes. Maria. So, so we're going to be doing a lot of, um, how can I explain it? Uh, a lot of breaks in between our cooking. Yeah. Because a lot of the things we're going to be doing today is going to need 20 yes. minutes or a half hour yep. or 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So with, um, the wonders of TV. Yeah. We're going to be able to do all of this in less than yes. 30 minutes. Yes, we so are. So let's hope we get this right. <laughs> but to get things started, yep. we already um, started with the sauce because yes. that saved us some time. We needed a little bit of time to kind of yes. melt together and cook and get, and, and get all the flavors yep. in there. And the reason we I chose this for us to make it today because it's a very healthy yes. uh, way to eat fish, yes. and that is poaching it. And my mom would make this dish in the summertime mm -hmm. because we would have the fresh tomatoes in the garden and we'd have so many tomatoes that she would come up with all of these different sauces. And what do you do with all and those And all the tomatoes, tomatoes exactly, <laughs> besides the jam that she would make and all of these other things too, but we would be, um, there would be a lot of sabladas, which mm -hmm. is a lot of sauces Sablages. that are made with okay. onions and, um, and tomatoes and garlic mm -hmm. and olive oil. So what we did today to set it all up yes. is we have taken care of the tomatoes, tomato the to making the tomato sauce. Yeah. So we've got the tomatoes in here um, that are broken down. And in the winter time, when you don't mm -hmm. have the tomatoes, you can buy the pastini okay. makes this wonderful um, a little kitchen. bit of a shortcut. Exactly, Make kitchen ready tomatoes. It's okay. perfect. You can use that too. Then, um, so how you start this is first you saute a nice uh, onion. Okay. I like using... Any particular kind? I like the, the sweet Vidalia onions. Okay. Um, I, I think they're just a wonderful taste. That, a but that's more. just a preference. You can okay. use any kind of onions. Mm -hmm. And again, there's no right or wrong in this recipe. Mm -hmm. If you like lots of onions, you would just add a lot of a onions. Lot of you onions. add more than one, you add two, whatever, mm -hmm. three, whatever, go crazy. Whatever you like. Whatever you okay. like. And then you add your tomatoes. Mm -hmm. After you saute the onions and you get that nice uh, translucent color, Okay. you would add the tomatoes there and okay. then they would break down. And then once they break down, you would add the garlic. I know it smells it wonderful. It smells amazing in yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> said before we wish you had. We wish you could also smell this. I know because it I is amazing. We need smell a vision. Yes, we do. And we added a little bit of extra garlic because we were talking, and both yes. of us love we garlic. We love garlic, and it's so good for you. <laughs> and so what we just finished doing is, and um, everything came into it together. Mm -hmm. It all mm -hmm. commingled well. You season it with salt, pepper, again mm -hmm. to your taste. Okay. I'm not going to tell you use a lot of salt or use little right. salt. It's up to your taste. Okay. And um, and what you're going to do is, um, I also brought some hot chopped red peppers. Yes. And so some hot chopped red peppers, you can use that again to add a little mm -hmm. kick to it. But you know optional, what? Optional, right? It's optional. Okay. Not everybody likes heat in their food. Mm -hmm. And one of the other things that I'm adding on here is white wine. White wine. Okay. And again, not everybody likes to cook with wine, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if that was something that my mom would do, and that's how we're making it today. Okay. And um, the family way. The family yeah. way, exactly. And you know, for all of those people going, oh, I don't want to cook with wine. Mm -hmm. You know, use wine. If you are going to cook with right. wine, use wine that you are going to also be able to drink. <sighs> you know, because some people tend They're not to not going to drink it. Don't. Yeah, because the flavor goes into yeah. the food. Okay. So, um, could you use 
a different kind of liquid besides water to add into it? You could add water to it mm -hmm. if you don't want to do um, the wine because what you want to create is enough moisture in here that is going to uh, poach the fish. Okay. So we don't want it to be too, too dry. Okay. Um, and at the same time, you don't want it, you know. Okay. Um, but if it's one, too dry, I'd imagine you have dry fish, right? The fish, uh, okay. you're gonna have the tomatoes stick to the pan. You don't, you don't want mm -hmm. that. So you want to keep it kind of nice and. Um, it's it just a nice sauce. Yeah, I can't explain it. It's just a really wonderful sauce. You'll love it when you make it. It and is, you and you can see. It. I, I can hope see the camera how. can see this, but it's just a really yep. nice. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful sauce, mm -hmm. and it's just as, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. it, like I said, it's the sautéing the onions and garlic. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, onions and olive oil. Mm -hmm. Then adding the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Then adding the garlic. Okay. Having it all come simple. together, the salt, the pepper, yeah. the hot. Uh, peppers, if you want that. The wine, the wine if, if not, you want it. if you want it. If not, you can eliminate the hot peppers, mm -hmm. and you can substitute for water um, mm -hmm. instead of the the white wine. Okay. And what you've done here yes. for us, which is wonderful, um, we've got our fish seasoned. And again, if you could, could you put other seasonings on the fish you if could. you wanted to? You could. That's already pretty well seasoned. But yeah. Today we put on just a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of paprika. Correct. On the fish. And the fish we're using today is oh, we're using right. hake. Hake. And for those people out there who mm -hmm. do not know what hake is, which hake it could be a lot of people because personally I've heard of hake. But I've never cooked with it before, so this is the first time for me. Too. It's a, <laughs> and you're gonna love it. It's a very underutilized fish. Uh, hake yep. is part of the cod family, mm -hmm. so it's almost like cod's cousin. Mm -hmm. And so when you go to the store and you see hake, mm -hmm. it, it's the beautiful white fish. Yep. It's gonna cook just like fresh yep. cod. It's going yep. to uh, flake like a fresh okay. cod. Everything is the same way. You're gonna cook it yeah. just like you would. And the best part is, is the, the price. price. Yeah. It's half of what oh, fresh yeah. cod is. I bought this today. This was five ninety nine a pound. That's right. That's it. That's it. Compared to cod, can be like ten ninety nine a pound. Absolutely. Or other kind of salmon, it's like fifteen dollars yes. a pound. It just yes. you know. And um, so what you're going to do okay. is you're going to have the fish. Mm -hmm. You're just going to lay it okay. on top. Lay it right on top. Right of on sauce. top of the sauce. Okay. It's as simple as that. Now Maria mentioned before too, poaching is an excellent way to cook the fish because it cuts down on the fat. It cuts down on the grease. You're not adding anything to it. Oh, and then we have to add the parsley too. Yes, we do. I started talking about fish. I got I know, excited. I know. <laughs> what we're gonna do after you lay it out in the pan and you've seasoned it like, like we said, with the salt, pepper, and paprika. And again, to your discretion, the way that you like it. Yes. You're gonna take some nice chopped fresh parsley, and you're gonna add that onto on top of the fish, also, and that's going to just go right up on top. Add some nice color, color to it. As well Fresh as flavor. flavor. Oh my God, yes. And I, again, I, w I don't know if we want to show this just so you can yeah. see a little bit of this. This is how it looks before we cover mm -hmm. oh, the pan. So pretty. Talk about a good holiday meal. I know, it really <laughs> is. It really is. And we're going to just poach this. Okay. And that is, we're going to- Do gonna, you turn the heat down I, to you know, poach it or here, do you leave it up? Here, I because yeah, it's steaming up nicely. Okay. We're gonna let that go. Okay. We have it right here in the meat, right? Medium. Right on medium. Okay. Yeah. And, and um, you just let it go. And we're gonna just let it, just let the steam okay. of all of that mm -hmm. cook the fish. Okay. And then it, depending on the size of the fish, mm -hmm. um, and how thick it is, mm -hmm. will determine how long you poach it. Now, we're very lucky here, or maybe not, because it's steaming I up. I know, now we can't we have see a, it. We have a glass top <laughs> here, and now we can't see it because the steam is covering it. So we're going to peek. We're, we're going to peek every once in a while. Okay. But it's usually a good 10 okay. minutes or so, uh, depending, again, on how thick the fish is. Okay. 
So the so thinner the fish, the faster it's gonna cook. The faster it's gonna cook. And we are doing it today with hake because we were talking about how underutilized mm -hmm. and how great it is. Mm -hmm. And my, my mom would use a lot of hake. Okay. And so growing up, we ate a lot of hake. Okay. We actually also bought, we would buy the hake in portion sizes with bones and all, and it would oh. be a nice hake stew. Okay. That is so also really amazing. versatile. It too. is versatile. Okay. But this is very simple and this is not as intimidating yes. as it would be if you're going to get the head, the, and whole the tail, fish and, the, and, <laughs> yeah, and all that stuff. You're not going to do that. This is very simple. But for those that say, well, no, I like tilapia, mm -hmm. or I like cod, or I like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what is it, sole, or whatever it is, okay. type of fish that you like, mm -hmm. um, you know, flounder, whatever, um, mm -hmm. you can make it. It, it doesn't. We're just using Whatever cake, you but you can use any kind of okay. white fish. Okay. Um, and again, the thickness determines the, the time it okay. needs for poaching. Okay. And I just don't want to... Well, we'll keep, keep checking on it. I keep wanting to check! <laughs> No, now, no, 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 no. It has ready. to be covered to, to poach, right? It does. You couldn't this poke has it without to, the cover because, on it. No, the lid it has okay. to the lid has to be on it okay. for it to poach. Because you're poaching it with that steam. Okay. And um and the thing is is with so as you can see it's already starting it to It is. It's starting it's, to turn white yes. right around the edges and <laughs> Now it smells even better. It in does. Here. Again, yeah. smell a vision. We need I to know. get that for DCTV. <laughs> and um, but no, very simple. Yeah, very simple. It really All is. fresh ingredients mm -hmm. and um, so fresh and healthy. Yeah. But it tastes. We were talking wonderful. about that with your cookbook. Is you were saying that it's a really healthy way of cooking just because it's so fresh. A lot of times it's local ingredients. Yes. You get your tomatoes right from the garden. Right. And doing just that alone, right. instead of buying all the prepackaged stuff, right. is so much better for you. Absolutely. And when I um, created or worked on the cookbook, mm -hmm. and I actually went back to St. Michael, and I cooked with my aunts and cousins oh. and stuff, and you know, the key thing in all of this was, you know, fresh. Mm -hmm. Everything is fresh. Mm -hmm. And so our diet is a very healthy diet. Okay if done correctly, right. of course, like any diet, and right. everything in moderation and all mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. And um, But when I got a lot of these recipes, you know, we do have a sweet tooth. <laughs> we absolutely, Don't we all, we right? absolutely <laughs> have a sweet tooth. So for every recipe that I had from my family that mm -hmm. they would give me and that I would make right. uh, for food, I would have, you know, two or three right. of, of desserts. Everything in moderation. Everything in know? moderation. But the thing is, is when we would have these desserts, like the malasadas, we say, for mm -hmm. example, okay, fried dough, you know. Oh, that's malasadas. That's malasadas. Okay. That's our fried dough. In St. Michael, you would have it maybe twice a year. You would oh, have it for carnival. Right. Okay. And you would have it for Christmas, maybe. Mm -hmm. So it's twice a year having fried dough. Okay. It wasn't every Saturday every day. <laughs> or every day going <laughs> or to the bakery, you know, <laughs> you know, getting some fried dough mm -hmm. and having it with your coffee every day. Right. It, you know, just because it's available year round right. does not mean you, you should be having have it year round. Exactly. Even though uh, I'm not one to talk because yeah. I, I like my malasadas <laughs> yeah. too. So, um, so yeah, so needless <laughs> to say, it's it, it's a very healthy diet yes. if done like with a lot of fresh fish, mm -hmm. with a lot of our, um, uh, we have a lot of vegetarian type of, yeah. of, uh, of meals mm -hmm. with, you know, with our beans and our, um, you know, whether it's green beans yeah. or fava beans or whatever. Lots of beans. <laughs> Lots of beans, it's, which is a high protein. It is. And we do high a lot protein, of the beans high fiber. with the rice and, you know, then you add some of the sausage in mm -hmm. there too to add a little bit more flavor mm -hmm. too, but, uh, and that does not make it vegetarian. <laughs> uh, but it, it, you can, you can omit the sausage yeah, if you want. Yeah, absolutely. So. And you know, while we're talking about fish, yeah. we talk about a little more about the health benefits of fish, because we always want to keep nutrition in the front of our minds. So it's recommended you have fish at least twice a week, if you can. And we're checking on our fish here. Yes, it's, it's how, almost there. How, it's almost, almost there. there. Almost, almost there. there. This is, this almost is so there. Fast. So fish, lean protein, Almost virtually no fat. It's got omega threes. It's kind of a huge. You hear a lot about omega threes nowadays. Right. Now omega threes are a type of fat, and they're really good at reducing inflammation in the body. And that's something a lot of us need. Um, and they also help your brain. So that's one of the benefits of doing fish. 
adding in the fish, you know, once or twice a week. Right. And using something like hake, it's not so expensive. It is an expensive. Yeah. Which what deters you from getting fish a lot is right. the price. Right. And that's exactly it. Yeah. So using this is a wonderful way to Yes, it so. is. Yeah. And I'm so glad I'm we so get to share to it. This. And there's no excuse. <laughs> there's no excuse out there. This is fast. It's easy. It really is. Yeah. yeah. And because uh, I had said this to you before, I'm going to show you a recipe that's just really very easy. Mm -hmm. There's, it's nothing in here is intimidating. It is. No. It's chopping onions and chopping garlic and tomatoes. Yeah. That's it. You know, if you want to go, fish. if you want to go one step further with fresh tomatoes in the summertime, mm -hmm. you are going to, you know. Uh, cut them up and yeah. put them in a in, a, a, you know, in the sauce. You're going to boil it and you're going to throw it in boiling water. Mm -hmm. You're going to take it out. You're going to peel it. Mm -hmm. You're going to de-seed it. You're going to chop it up. I mean, mm -hmm. now we're talking about a little bit more steps. A little bit more. You know, but um, if that's not for you and you don't have a, a lots of garden tomatoes, like I said, it's, you know, the kitchen ready chopped tomatoes. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a perfect mm -hmm. uh, way to to, yeah. uh, you know, to use it takes a little bit of the work out of it for you. Correct. Mm -hmm. So the only things you are going to chop is your onions, your parsley, and your garlic. Mm -hmm. And you're going to saute all that together and then... How easy is that? Yeah, how easy is that? And we just started, uh, like I said, we started before because sometimes the sauce takes a little time to right. thicken up. But today it did not take. No. It was very fast. Yes, I was going to say. We had people in, in uh, yeah. the DCTV coming over wondering if it was all done. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, um, because it smells amazing. It does. Yeah, I see you kind of. I'm just um, putting some little sauce over it too. A little bit. A little. But I'm telling you, it's just a little more and. I'm telling you, this We're is done. something <laughs> you done. are going to make at home. I'm going to go home and make yeah, this because. How easy. And, I mean, and I when we, we've been saying it's easy so much because it's just that it easy. It really is. And when we played it, um, you know, we were talking about this before and saying, well, what else can you put in that sauce? Can you mm -hmm. add more vegetables? Mm -hmm. And the answer is yes. Again, there's yep. no right or wrong here. Okay. I'm just showing you how my mom made it, and that's how I have it in the okay. recipe in, in the, the book. book. And but if you want to add your peppers in there, your okay. red peppers, your yellow. I love red, yellow peppers more okay. than the green. That's just I a preference. Too. The flavor is a little the, different. Yes, yeah. it is. I think there's just an added flavor in mm -hmm. the red and the, and the yellow and the yeah. orange ones. Yeah. I love those vibrant colors. <laughs> and But you can add that in there. Mm -hmm. um, as a side, uh, to go along with it, again, you've got all this beautiful sauce that comes in it with, yeah. the, with um, the fish. You know, in the summertime, it would be a garden salad because we'd have our yeah. lettuce growing and all of right. that stuff. So again, it's... Yep. Now what would you serve with it on the side during the during the winter months? During you the, could still do a salad. You but could still do a salad, but it wouldn't be as great. Yeah. Uh, but then you could do, you could do a rice. Okay. Um, you could do a potatoes. Oh, okay. All right, so there's Adding your starch. starch. Okay. Um, so you could do that with okay. it. Okay. And, um, and of course, we always have bread. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, bad, bread. which is bad, which is bad. I know, it's bad. I'm gonna cut that. But, but you, you know, know. The, the recipe itself with just the tomato sauce and the fish really doesn't have a starch added into it. So adding in a piece of bread on the side could yep. be a whole wheat toasted garlic bread. Hey, what's wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with Delicious. that. It's all good. You dip into the sauce. So what are we looking for to know that it's done? Well, what you see uh, obviously, when you put it in the fish to steam, mm -hmm. the fish is opaque. Okay. Um, it's not, it's flat, it's kind of pinkish mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. And when the fish is done, you get that bright white. Okay. And it flakes. Kind of. Yeah, it kind of pushes up and um, <laughs> it becomes a kind of, kind of flaky. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you because I just, I just shut it off. Uh, <laughs> because <gasps> we are done. That. Um, so, and this is how, how so, oh, it looks this so looks. good. And I'm going to show you here. We'll get our plates okay, ready. We're get the plates ready. And what I'll happens is, one. all right, I'm going to get, I'm going to do this instead. Cut it. I'm going to cut it in okay. half. And as you can and see, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to do it on the plate so you can see how it looks. But there oh, it's is beautiful. how it looks. And um, and when you serve, oh, you can serve more sauce oh. over that. Oh. 
<laughs> and you can also okay. add, if you want to, you know, make it whatever kind make of. Make it a little more pretty. Pretty. You can add a couple more <gasps> of the um, like of the parsley. It's beautiful. And here we are. Here's the other piece. And the sauce has gotten a little more thick. It, it did. It mm -hmm. thickened up even more. Mm -hmm. And you can see the chunks of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You can see the chunks of garlic. Oh, that's your fork. Oh, this is <laughs> mine. Okay, beautiful. And um, I'll get you a little and more we parsley. Did, we did a pound of fish. We did a pound of fish today. Yep. And mm -hmm. usually for uh, for a uh, for two people, that's perfect. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're just testing this out, but yep. we're also leaving food for the gang. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> but I like to, um, when I'm serving, mm -hmm. is to get a a pound, a half a pound per person. Okay. Um, that's how I, I've always mm -hmm. been, um, I've always done it. And that way, because when it cooks down, it, Kind of shrinks down a little oh, in size, and it just flakes. It just flakes, and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat this. And then, okay, nice. go ahead. I'm gonna have you. I can't get it on my fork. I'm too excited. Okay, it's hot. It's really hot. <laughs> I was gonna say it's really hot. You see this, Steve? <laughs> okay. Mm. Isn't that great? Oh, that's so good. Now, now, see, I don't know if they can see my plate. Can you see my plate? Let me get a close up. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. But you can, the wine is just <laughs> kind of in the background. It's just a nice big thick piece of, mm -hmm. of, of fish here, and it's just a white, Ooh. it's just beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go for it's it. It's tender, it's moist. The, the garlic, even we added extra garlic, it's not overpowering. No. no. It's sweet. It's sweet because of the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So you need that, for me, mm -hmm. now, okay, I opened it up even more here, <laughs> so you can see the white, and um, just oh, how- it's beautiful. It's beautiful, it's flaky. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna eat one more piece. And see, and there you go. This is the first time you're having hake. It's delicious. Isn't it? I'm gonna eat it more. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for this, Maria. Mm. So we're gonna take a little break, a very short break, and we're gonna come back, and we're gonna make the popovers. The kavakash. Kavakash which is another healthy dessert. It is, yes, yes. So welcome back. We just finished eating our delicious poached egg. And it was delicious. It was amazing. Yes, it was. And now we're moving on to dessert. So we mentioned earlier we were gonna make a 
Portuguese popover. Yes. Cavacas. Cavacas. Very good. Yes. <laughs> See, I'm getting there. You were worried, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So we do have some already made over there, so we wanted you to see what they look like. And right now we're going to show you how to make them. Yeah. So Maria, walk me through this. Okay. Kavakaj, okay. let's let's start this right off the bat. Um, Kavakaj is not a very sweet dessert. Okay. Okay. Because what we're making here, we're making a popover, mm -hmm. which has no sugar in it. It's okay. eggs, flour, oil, mm -hmm. um, and... Um, uh, oh my goodness, I'm losing it here. And, and milk. Um, and milk. Yes. And it's just a very simple recipe. Very simple. Um, mm -hmm. But the key sweetness in it is after the glaze, the glaze. that we make. And that is drizzled yeah. up on top. So you, does it matter what I put in here no, first? No, it okay. really doesn't matter. It's a very simple recipe. Okay. And that everything goes into, um, into the bowl. Okay. And so you've got your... Uh, we're doing. Uh, we have a cup of wheat flour. Okay. And then I just added a half cup of vegetable oil. Correct. And then a quarter cup of milk yep. goes in here. Yep. And then we're going to do four eggs. Okay. And uh, like I was saying before, I always like to break the yes. eggs beforehand. Uh, as I'm adding them into the bowl, because the last thing I want to do is yeah. is get a bad, bad egg, egg, and then you've got to start the recipe mm -hmm. all over again. It's just not worth it. It it's really worth the extra mm -hmm. time to just do and this. And you never know what you're gonna get with the e eggs. So. Exactly. Take um, the extra time to correct. crack it separately. So now the next thing we're going to do, and this is the hardest part yes. <laughs> of the whole recipe, and that is we are going to beat yes. this mixture for 20, 20 minutes. minutes. I'm going to work on my muscles today. Now, 20 minutes meaning non-stop, high-speed mm -hmm. mixing. Mm -hmm. and, and why is that? We have to add air into the batter, so we need to Correct. incorporate that air to get them nice and puffy like those ones over Correct. there. Correct. Mm -hmm. Hence the reason pop. Over. Yes. They yes. are going to pop. Pop over but the top of the. But if you do not beat it mm -hmm. for that long at a high uh, at a high speed, mm -hmm. you're not going to have that extra air put in it, okay. and it will not pop like okay. it should. Okay. So at least twenty minutes. You at said. Least non stop. Okay. And non -stop. so what happens is is we're using a hand mixer, mm -hmm. but and for those of you out there. Um, that don't have a stand mixer, mm -hmm. you know, you do what you can. Yeah. I mean, heck, back then, my mom would use it by hand. A whisk. A yeah. whisk by <laughs> hand. So we really have nothing to complain about yeah. if you have a hand mixer exactly. like this. Exactly. So, but if you have a stand mixer, mm -hmm. um, I, I happen to have a stand mixer, and okay. it comes in so handy in this. Yes. So for those of you out there with a stand mixer, you would put everything into your bowl, okay, and you would uh, mix on level six, okay. which is a wonderful way to, okay. nice speed, and for 20 minutes, 20 and you minutes. set it up and you walk away, and okay. it's great. Whereas this, we literally have to stand have to here, stay here for 20 <laughs> minutes and do it. So you don't want to see us standing no. here for 20 minutes mixing. Yes. So we're going to do some mixing. We're going to work on this. Yes, mm -hmm. and then we're going to um, put them in the pans, um, yep. the baking pans. Yep. And um, so we'll come back yep. once we've we'll finished. We'll be right back. Yeah. On yep. the, so After we'll we're soon. done mixing. Yep. <laughs> Turn this on. So now the batter is all mixed, and it's been 20 minutes later yep. of mixing. So we're gonna start spooning this into the muffin cups. And in the meantime, Maria is doing the glaze for it. And yep. I'll have Maria you know, explain how you make the glaze. Okay. Uh, before, it's very uh, simple. Before she puts the batter, make sure that you grease the muffin tins. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Um, yeah. And we're using regular muffin tins but you can actually use any shape 
of uh, muffin tins that you want. Oh. So if you want very large kavakas, you can use the big, the big one, the big inside. huge size. Okay. If you want to make little ones, you can get the little petite size. And you, there's actual uh, pop over. Um, uh, forms also that you can oh, also right. so there's no right or wrong again okay. here it's all again to what you like yeah uh, but once she, while she's doing that yep. like she said I'm making uh, the glaze and the glaze is a simple very simple thing again, uh, and that is simple yeah a combination yep. of confectioner sugar and a little bit of milk and what you do is you just mix the two together until it becomes a nice um, I, I like a thick glaze. I do too. Yeah, I, I you like can. Thick. This it some sticks to it better. It doesn't I fall so off too. of the. <laughs> I think so too. Some people are like, oh, I like a little bit watery. Well, you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it the way that I like to make it. So this is how it is. It's nice and thick. And what the added thing that you want on top of it is you want to zest some lemon peel yeah. on it. And I love my zester. There's a few oh. things in my kitchen that I can't live without. <laughs> and this zester is one of them. I even had to bring it with me today. <laughs> so, and it's as simple as, you know, just zesting okay. um, a little bit of the lemon now peel. Now you said you can add other flavors besides lemon to the, to yeah. the glaze if you wanted to. You can. Right. My okay. uh, This is how my mom, again, would make it. This is a very traditional way to okay. do it. And um, I don't know if you, uh, for those that know Azorian cooking or Portuguese cooking, we do cook with a lot with um, citrus. So because we had lemon trees growing in our backyard, we had orange groves. So yes. the thing is, is we used what we had. And this mm. is, again, another way to get the traditional, the traditional way. way. But okay. the other day, I made some for my daughters who uh, were asking me to make some of this um, the other morning. And it's very easy. Um, so and quick. Okay. So I made it and I'm like, okay, I'm about to I do the zest. And I didn't have lemons. lemons. <laughs> I mean that's that's so a mini heart attack. I'm like, oh my <laughs> god, where's my lemons? <laughs> and so but what I did instead is I, I had coffee. It was in the morning. Oh, so I added a okay. little bit of coffee into the oh. um to the glaze. I had of course I had to add a little bit more sugar to bring it up to mm -hmm. that thickness mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. And it was a coffee. Glaze so over whatever it. you want to do, you can so add it exactly. In there. So it's a nice consistency, and you've got nice little fresh lemon grade in it. Drizzleable. I don't oh know if yeah, that's absolutely. A word. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make up our own uh, word. So I put the popovers in the oven. They're gonna cook at what temperature? Three fifty for uh, forty-five minutes. If you want them a little moist, because okay. they are dry, okay. they're a little dry. But there are some people who like them kind of dry and crunchy. Right. So if that's the case, an hour. Okay. But I like it at forty, forty-five okay. minutes. That's more than enough time. And now, since it takes 45 minutes, we made some earlier yes, so we, we could show you with the finished product. You know, the wonders of see TV. see how they pop, literally pop over yeah, the and top. And that's, that's exactly it. Um, They're beautiful. They are beautiful. And again, they smell amazing. They do, they smell amazing. So what mm. happens is, is when you fill your muffin tin, you make sure that you fill it halfway. Okay. And we forgot to say that we beforehand. Did. Yes. For the simple fact that when you when you put them in the oven, this is what's going to happen to them. They are literally going to pop up, yeah. and like they're going to pop most. over the um, the pan. So very important to grease it. Mm -hmm. Very important to have it just halfway. So they can come right so up. So they can come right okay. up. But as you can see, there are different ways. Uh, they they pop up. They a all different. do their own thing. Yep, they do their they own do. thing. And okay. what we're going to do here today is I brought another plate. Even though we have samples moving here, to the plate. And we're moving it to the plate. Okay. It's as simple as that. Now this dessert too is a really great alternative to like a piece of chocolate cake, right? Well, you can't if compare <laughs> chocolate cake to anything. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you can't. This is another alternative to say I want a dessert. Yeah. I don't want to be without a dessert, yeah. and this is a healthier way to yeah. have a dessert. So much but less it's, sugar. You cannot compare it to chocolate <laughs> cake. I guess those are just two different <laughs> worlds. Two you different have worlds. A point there. Two different worlds. And so, <laughs> if you think calorie-wise, though, these are about 
maybe 100 calories. Oh my per god, half if, over. If, yeah. A piece of chocolate cake can be about 500. Correct. 500, you Correct. know. So this is a great way to do it. And again, this, there's no sugar in this. The mm -hmm. only sugar we're adding. You pile these on top. Oh, absolutely. Okay. You know, yeah. and this the is better. this is the fun thing about this is that you know you're just gonna drizzle this all over, and you're going to, I mean, people see Very this freeform. and they they're like, oh my goodness, you know, oh, it took you forever to do that. <laughs> oh, how did you do that? You know, and and you make it look. You almost look like, you know, you spent forever mm -hmm. and you've gone to, you know, um, a pastry uh, class yeah. and to do this, but it, you just saw how we did it, yeah. how easy this this was, and it is delicious. The lemon, and the lemon yeah. and just how, um, Ooh, okay, Korea. see? And then ah. again, if you want, Less glaze, you do less glaze. You yeah. don't want, you know, you mm -hmm. want more glaze, go for it. I mean, really, yeah. there's whatever you, um, want. whatever you want. So, are we gonna have? Oh, one? we're gonna dig in. All right, this we're gonna is the dig one part. I know, we're dessert. gonna dig in and we're gonna show you how it looks on the we inside. Get you a plate. And, um, you know, when you cut into it or when you break into it, it, it crunches. There's a little bit of crunch. I'm just going in. You're just gonna go for it. Okay. okay. I'm gonna no go. plates. We the, don't need plates. You know, okay. We know each other Your so sister. well now. <laughs> There's no formalities oh, here. And so all you're doing is, I it mean, you does. break in you there. Can hear it. Yes. And when this you look so into it, and you can see, I, I hope you can get it close up here. Oh. And the that is, um, you know, the how. Let me try this. See, there's all these little holes in it. And these are the air pockets that are in it. And and this is what makes it rise. But you need to have, that's why it's so mm -hmm. important to make sure that you're beating it for 20 minutes nonstop mm -hmm. because you're gonna get this. Oh. You know, it's all of that airiness in there. So if you're looking for, you're mm. thinking it's something dense, it's mm -hmm. not, it's light, it's airy. And well, um, it's airy, it almost melts in your mouth. The lemon is so fresh. Yep. It's not overly sweet. No, it isn't. I gotta make these at home. <laughs> I do. So yeah, so I'm gonna taste it now too. It's gonna be too. Christmas dinner. Because you know, she cannot just have it by herself. <laughs> I have to have some too. So I'm gonna have it just to make sure. Yes. Just to make sure. Quality control, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good. Perfect. Oh. Well, thank you so much Perfect. for sharing these recipes with us oh, today, Thank Maria. you for having me. It was it's a been a blast. Fun. Yes. And stay tuned after the show, and the recipes will scroll by, so you can make these at home. You too, at home yourself. Absolutely. So it's that easy. Yes. No excuses, folks. And thank you again.